just what I've been through Trying to bring me down You looking like a king And they trying to get that crown That I'ma hold it down I'ma get it off the ground Right there on the mound It's hard to find a better view or better feeling when you have been coming home in, in the summer, July, August. That mountain. Ooh, that mountain, that the fresh view. air, the water. Yeah, that's why I like it. I'm going to get a fresh line at lunch, Bobo. I, 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 I already know. Because my, my pops is like, oh, I'll stop by every now and then. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. I got to make sure my mom's going to see this. It's going to be a competition. Yeah, his line. Yeah, he be on his line. He be right, on so his line. He'll do some petty stuff. Bless the Hezzy! Bless the Hezzy! Bless the Hezzy, baby. First off and foremost, you gotta have Jimmy to even have Hezzy the way the Hezzy's supposed to work. A lot of people try to use Hezzy, and they don't even got Jimmy. They don't even got Jimmy. And then when you least expect it, he might yam on you. No, for real though. Learn about it, man. Young Weatherby, man, for real. Mr. Hezzy himself, baby. But he's more than he's it's more than the game. You know what I'm saying? It's educational game, out here. To the next level. Dr. Weatherby, let me let me pronounce him right. It's more than the game. It's more than the game, baby. So when you come on, make sure you get the love. So it's like you've been here the whole time. Like half of the coma. You know, I ain't yeah. seen it in like a decade. Yeah. But you it's need like it. I've been going a day, bro. Yeah, for real, yeah. for real. That's because who you are, man. Yeah. You know, that don't mean you're not right here. That don't mean I'm not telling my kids about people like you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be here. I'm going to do it. Did his thing at Curtis. Then he went on to Stanford and did his thing at Stanford. Stanford Was hitting the court. Bit. Well, I'll be telling you about a lot of the West Central District Tournament you see. Oh my at UPS, goodness. be there all day. Yep. If you go downtown at the McDonald's, where the smokers is. <laughs> 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 Y'all This is what I will tell you, is this. From knowing these guys, he earned his respect, man. I seen him step in people's faces that they thought he was going to back down because <laughs> who his family was, the doctor. Don't, hey, this it was more than the Husky was around here, brother. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Huh? It was nothing better than they come out from UP, out to Al Davies. Man, and you got People saying bro, oh, this man. One, that's what people come don't on. understand. Come on. Like, that, that, it was a, it's a respect thing, like, we, we, I, man, I don't even know how to put it. He earned that, you know what I'm saying? He took that. A lot of people try to just get their respect handed to him or whatever. He went and took that. He came out of that element, came right into the hood and was playing against people that was starving and that was hungry and snatched that up, fam, for real. Now he's a doctor, fam. That's popular, man. More, he's more than just that label. It's more than just that athlete. And a lot of people get caught into that stigma and then after the basketball's gone or the football's gone or the baseball's gone, <laughs> they resort to doing all type of things that really don't fulfill their happiness. You know what I'm saying? And he, he tapped in and tuned into that, realized once he was done with the basketball business, he had another side to him that he could be successful at. And he's showing us that, man, that there's more to you than that label of just being one thing or just being stuck in the stigma of being what the people want you to be. You can be exactly who you want to be no matter what happens to you in life, bro. He's an example of that. He's a pillar of our community, even though he's not in our community at the time. He still is, bro. It's a household name around here, brother. Let's go, bro. For real.
I ain't even getting no money for that. Well, what have I been missing at Tacoma Hoops? What's going on? What's the latest with 206 versus 253? There ain't no more of that. No yeah. more of that. There ain't, that rivalry is damn near gone. Yep. The heart of that rivalry is damn near gone, fam. They, they friends now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They friends now. Seattle, Seattle and Tacoma is friends now. It ain't, it ain't the same rivalry that we used to have growing up just because they network through social media so much. They so cool. Everybody's cool. Baltimore and DC is the exact same relationship as Tacoma and Seattle. They're both about 20, 30, like 30 minutes away, and it's the exact same thing. Like, I'm not from no DC, I'm from, I'm not from Seattle, I'm from Tacoma. It's the same thing. When game banging ended, that ended that whole rivalry, because that's what fueled that rivalry. And not to say I was even game banging, but that's what made me athletically feel like anytime I had to play at Seattle school, I knew my cousins didn't like them, so naturally, what you mean? I'm, I got it. To be honest with you, like I just I think we're we're slow out here in Washington in a, in, a, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a lot of sense. So all across the world, all across the world, people been going from city to city to try to find the best school for them anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Kevin Garnett didn't play in his home state. Der yeah, Derrick Rose didn't play in his yeah. home state, and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Now it's happening out here, and we kind of don't know how, to, like, how to attack, how to feel. Do we feel mad about it? Do we feel happy for this kid? Do what? You know what I'm saying? So for a better situation. You feel me? Because right, yeah. it's happening all across the world. Like the best player in each city usually doesn't play for that city that, that he lives in. Right. That never. Yeah. He, yeah. LeBron James went to play for Vince St. Mary's and he's from the Akron, you know what I'm saying? So now it's happening to us and we don't really, we're not on the national scale as such, you know what I'm saying? So when it's happening to us, we're looking like, no, nah, that's not, you're not being loyal, but really it's like, who am I supposed to be loyal to first, myself or this city? And it should feel good that people were mad, like that makes, makes it make you feel how much people respect you. I said, they're gonna cheer for you now. Uh, when you look at the eyes up there, that's just a natural competition. You're supposed to. It's a natural yeah. it's a competition. Yeah, I was mad personally because I want to see you put on for the goal. But you're in college now, you're still ours. We love you just as much. They bro, people got mad at IT when he got traded yeah. from Boston. <laughs> Boston fans <laughs> was mad at IT and he got traded. You feel me? Like that was all the way out of his hands, but they looking like at him like he tried to get traded. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a fan is gonna do and say what a fan's gonna do and say. <laughs> about me last night about uh, having a Mrs. and Mr. shirt. They was clowning me last night. You should have been with us, man. They was like, oh, this dude got to just chuck it up to the chin. He's got a, uh, a Mr. shirt. He's got to walk to the airport holding hands. We got hours, baby. And I've been playing with that dude for years. That's the best part. That's the best part. And we're still playing. Now when we get together, man, he comes out to see me in Minneapolis. First thing we do is go hoop. Last thing we do is go hoop. Like we're eighth graders again, man. Straight to the gym. My wife super crazy. First and last thing we do is go hoop. I'll make sure nobody I'll make sure. Zeke, I need a key, man. I'll be here at 1 a.m. Getting these up. Hey. Hey, that's lefties. That's lefties being here all day.
I'm not trying to be little or clown, but I know if we become more prideful, then that's gonna make people stay, and then it'll bubble, fam. Off top, Very but sorry. a legend to me, somebody, bro, you get paid to do what you love to do. What are you, man? You know what I'm Living comfortably. Like, oh. I know people that come back from overseas and they have a second job. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He's, He's doing what he loved <laughs> for a living. That's a legend from the town. Not only people that, need to know about that. the man. world. You know what I'm saying? For real. Seeing the world. See, he ain't coming back from Australia. He's a legend out there. Seeing the world. Off top. Consummate. 